Alright guys, this is Brian White coming back with another deck profile. This one's going to be Yosenju Kaijus. Um, I, if you haven't been able to tell by now, I love trolly ass decks. Like, that's just what I do. Um, this one's just, you know, again, trolly and fun to play. It is not meant to be competitive. You want to take it and be competitive with it, by all means. You do you, boo-boo. Alright, so here is the start of this deck. Um, we're going to start straight off with the monsters. We're going to go right into Yosenju, comma, one. I love the art for these guys. Um, so, Yosenju, comma, one. If he is normal summoned, you can immediately... After this effect resolves, normal summon another Yosenju monster from your hand, except for comma one. Um, if you control another Yosenju monster, you can target one face-up card your opponent controls, return it to the hand. And that's why this is beautiful with Kaiju. So you can Kaiju someone's monster, normal summon all your Yosenjus, bring that Kaiju back to your hand. It's so dirty. Um, and then the other thing is this effect can only be used once while this card is face-up on the field during the end phase. If this card was normal summon this turn, you return it to your hand. So these guys are, guys are kind of like spirit monsters. Um, in that regard, or in that sense. Um, so three comma ones, three comma twos. Comma two, uh, again, awesome. Uh, if he's normal summoned, uh, you know, I'm going to skip all that. All of them, if they're normal summoned, except for Sujik, you can normal summon again. All right? That's pretty much what they do. Um, this one's effect is he can attack if you can, I think you got to control another one, uh, except for you. No, he can attack your opponent directly, and when it does so, using this effect, the battle damage inflicted to your opponent is half. So he doesn't have to actually have another Yosenju on the field to attack directly. He can be by himself. But, uh, yeah, um, yeah. When he summons, you can't. You can summon another one except for uh, comma two. Uh, and yeah, he can attack directly, but the damage your opponent uh, takes is halved. And then during the end phase, if he's normal summon, return him to the hand. So that's three comma twos. Then we have their searcher, comma three. So comma three says that if your opponent or if one of your other Yosenjus inflicts battle damage to your opponent, or is it just damage? I think it's battle damage. Yeah, inflicts battle damage to your opponent, add a Yosenju card from your deck to your hand. It's a Yosenju card. That's pretty nice. But uh yeah, you just search for comma one, comma two, whatever it is you're needing, you sujik, uh, and then add them to your hand. You run three of him. Three comma threes. Alright. Then we have two. Yosenju Sujik. Sujik's pretty cool. He's like one of the coolest commons you'll ever see. Um, this one does not have the same effect of nor as normal summoning as the other ones. Um, during the end phase, if this card is normal summoned this turn, return it to the hand. You can only use each effect of these. Uh, uh, you'll send you to Sujik once per turn. During either player's damage step, when you, you'll send you a monster you control battles an opponent's monster, discard this card, that monster you control gains a thousand attack until the end of this turn. It's kind of cool, and you like run into an opponent's monster, and they're thinking, oh yeah, he's going to take damage or something, and then you drop Sujik on their ass. It's great. The other thing about uh, Sujik is you can target your Senju monster on the field, uh, and it gains a thousand attack until the end of this turn. So like you can go comma one, comma two, comma three, Sujik. Sujik effect, targeting you know, comma two. So then you got a 28 meter out there. Um, that's two Sujiks. Uh, and that's it for the Yosenju lineup. That's literally it. And these guys are cheap. So it's really, you know, budgety. It's a fun budgety deck. Then we're going to go right into the Kaijus part of uh, the deck. I run one Gamma Seal. I don't need to run more than that. Just one, one Gamma Seal. That's all you need. One Gamma Seal. One Kamongus. The sticky, sticky string Kaiju. And then two Dogarens. Um Again, Kaiju lineups is like, like you know, it's it goes off preference. I like Dogren. He's really cool. I love the art and like he's a fire monster or whatever. It's really cool. He's 3,000 beaters. So when you go interrupt a Kaiju slumber, you bring out Gamma Seal or something to their side of the field and 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 uh, Dogren to your side. So, you know, you just got a 3,000 beater. Um, then that's it for monsters. Going right into uh, spells, Triple Tanky. This searches out for all of your uh, Yosenjus because they're all Beast Warrior. Um, everybody should know what Tanky does if you've been playing this game for a while. Basically, when it's activated, you add a level 4 or lower Beast Warrior type monster from your deck to your hand. And then the one effect that everybody forgets is it increases the attack of all be Beast Warrior type monsters you control by 100. Everybody forgets that part. But, yeah. That's your searcher. Kind of nice. Triple MST. You know, back row hate. 
Uh, if you really want to run Twin Twisters or something, you can, but there's absolutely no need. And plus, your, your deck doesn't really benefit off of being discarded. So the MST is great. Uh, if you're one of those like, oh, I've got to be badass, guys, you can run Cosmic Cyclones. Whatever. Um, for, for, forgive the rarity. Uh, triple Pot of Duality. I've been trying to upgrade these bad boys, but I can't find any. Triple Pot of Duality, your deck mostly normal summons, so uh, it doesn't really impact you too badly. Uh, the only time you really special summon is if you're you're summoning out a Kaiju. Yeah, Triple Pot of Duality. Uh, for the one ofs, uh, we have one Forbidden Lance. Uh, this is when you you know flood the field with your 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 Senjus or whatever, and your opponent goes to activate something stupid. You can just lance them and protect them. Or if your opponent's monster is attacking your Kaiju or your your I'm sorry your your Senju, you can lance your opponent's monster and uh, decrease his attack by 800. One interrupted kaiju slumber. We would run more if we could, but it is at one because it's, you know, kind of good. Then we got one. <laughs> Why my favorite card in the deck? Favorite card in the deck. One creature swap. Right. This is great because if you you can like normal summon comma one comma two comma three, creature swap one of your your yosenjus and then use comma one to bounce it back to your hand and then just swing, and then you got your opponent's you know creature. It's oh, it's it's so funny. That's one of the happiest feelings you'll have in Yu-Gi-Oh! is when you take your opponent's monster. Uh, just for a trolley card, because I ran into a problem with this deck, um, almost everything in there targets. Or, uh, yeah, targets, sorry. Um, and they can't really get around that. So I threw this in, and don't laugh at me, I know, this is my only, my preference, you know. If you have better ideas, again, just leave it in the description and I'll check it out. One Hammer Shot! <laughs> it's a non- Targeting destruction. Uh, shout outs to uh, my buddy Tristan for this one, by the way. He, uh, oh god, that guy comes up with some crazy ideas. But yeah, one hammer shot, non targeting destruction. It's, 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 you know, it is what it is. One book of moon because, you know, it's actually really, really helpful. Uh, you can book your monster or your opponent's monster. It's book of moon. Come on, people. <laughs> uh, one pot of desires. Um, in this deck, this card sucks. It really does. But, you know, in this deck, this is also a really good card. I, the people that know me know that I hate Pot of Desires. But, you know, one of it is pretty good. I would never run more than that. Not in this. Um, that's it for spells. Now we're going to go right into the trap cards. Running three, Drowning Mirror Force. Um, Drowning Mirror Force is beautiful. Because, um, so all of your Yos send you normal summon. And then on the end phase, they all return back to the hand. Drowning Mirror Force uh, says when an opponent declares a direct attack, shuffle all attack position monster your opponent controls into the deck. You're always going to have an opening for your opponent to attack into. So Drowning is beautiful. It's beautiful in this deck. It's too good. Um, one card I really like that, that is, has recently came out, and it's like the poor man's Twin Twister. Um, I love it, though, because you do it on your opponent's turn, and you, it does not bother you at all. Uh, two, Heavy Storm Duster. Um, what it does is you target up to two, and it's up to two. It doesn't have to be two. Up to two spell trap cards on the field. Destroy them. You cannot conduct your battle phase. Turn you activate this card. You're doing it on your opponent's turn. What battle phase are you going to have? It's great. Okay. Two Heavy Storm Duster. Um, uh, one also, one thing in this format is there's a lot of effects happening on the field. There's two things, actually. A lot of effects happening on the field and a lot of hand traps. A lot of hand traps. Um, hand traps, you know, they're, they are what they are. But field effects can be stopped. So... Double Fiendish Chain. It's making a comeback. Fiendish Chain, everybody knows what that does. Activate by targeting a face-up effect monster on the field. Negate the effects of that face-up effect monster while it's on the field. Also, that monster cannot attack. And when it's destroyed, destroy this card. It's too good. Um, one, Torrential Tribute. Oh, yeah. One, Bottomless Trap Hole. Hands down favorite, favorite trap in the entire game. Bottomless. That's probably my favorite trap. Um, and then one compulsory evacuation device. It's great. Uh, that's it for the main deck. Now on to, I'll show you the side deck first, and then we'll go into the extra deck. So for the side deck, um, I rarely, rarely put this in, but I have it. Ties of the Brethren. Uh, so what you do is you pay 2,000 life points, target a level 4 lower monster you control for the rest of this turn. After this card resolves, you cannot special summon monsters, uh, but you can special summon up to 2 from your deck with the same type, attribute, and level as that monster, but with different names from each other 
and that other monster. You cannot conduct your battle phase until you activate, activate as a card. Uh, really, I use it just to um, like bounce stuff um, with comma one and whatnot. But again, I rarely ever have the need to side this in. It's just there in case. Um, so there's that one. Then I run three prohibition. Uh, I like prohibition. It's a very fun card. It can literally be used in the side of any deck. But in this one, it's just kind of helpful when you're playing against those meta decks and you just, you know, want to shut their plays down. Because, uh, again, this is just a rogue deck. Um, then, double Twin Twister in case Heavy Storm Duster's not enough. Three, Solemn Strikes. Because it's, you know, it's, you know, it's Solemn Strike. Why not? Three Solemn Strikes. Two, DD Crow. Double effect Veiler, and in, in case um, <clears throat> I'm going against a uh, back row heavy deck, Danko. But again, um, I, with Danko, I would only ever really side in one, and that being uh, because I run a crap ton of traps myself, uh, so it can kind of hurt me. But that's it for the side deck, yeah. Um, again, it's not meant to be super competitive, it's meant to be fun. Uh, but if you have any deck ideas or if you have uh, um, any anything that you can throw my way and be like, hey, you know, this is a better idea, I'm, I'm always down. Um, so, extra deck. We have one Deco Talker. Um, you can go into this guy relatively easy, and he's, you know, pretty good link for the, the deck. I don't like playing links, but, you know, it is what it is. Thank you, yu gi -Mon. Um, one Topologic Bomber Dragon. I like this card. I love this card. It's great. I rarely have to go into it, but when I do, it's pretty nice. And then can go into it relatively easy. Um, one Rhapsody and Berserk. I love this card. I love it. Let me banish your your monsters from the grave. It's it's great. Uh, yeah, one Rhapsody and Berserk. Two Gaga Gaga Cowboy. Oh, God, just... Yeah, I mean... The days of cowboying somebody for game are kind of over, but, you know, I like to keep the spirit alive. One, Lightning Shidori. I, I didn't really need to. I didn't really need it. Uh, one's fine. Uh, Lightning Shidori, you know, it is what it is. And it's it's a pretty good card. One, Castell the Sky Blaster Musketeer. Um, yeah, it's Castell. One, 101. One one oh one 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 oh one. Uh, that's a tongue twister. Uh, Silent Honor Arc. Uh, it again. It is what it is. One. Uh, this next extra card. That this is the one that more than likely you'd be going into. Uh, it, it'll see field time more than almost anything else, only because it searches for your tanky, and that is uh, Tiger King. You go into Tiger King, search for your tanky, activate your tanky, add another. You'll send you unless you've activated tanky already. That turn, once that turn. Uh, the other thing is he can detach one, negate the effects of all other face up monster on the field that aren't beast warrior it, you don't really go for that effect it's not it's not really that needed you really just are searching for your tanky that's what he's there for um that's literally the only reason why um one thunder spark dragon because why not it's i mean you can easily go into it and just nuke your opponent's board it's it's pretty self-explanatory one utopia and you obviously know why utopia is because of utopia the lightning yeah utopia the lightning um, so one Utopia the Lightning, uh, yeah, because he's just, he's an asshole. One Kagatsuchi, again, rarely would ever see field time, but it's there in case you need it. One Amaterasu, Amaterasu, I love his art. He looks like, uh, uh, what's his name from Naruto's little thingy, Amaterasu, I guess, whatever. And then one Ouroboros, Ouroboros, you know, he, he, he'll see, he'll see field time as well. Um, almost as much as Tiger King, um, but maybe not as much. But yeah, Ouroboros, because he just, you know, says, yay. All right, that's it. If you guys got any deck ideas or anything, any kind of decks you want me to build, especially if it's trolley or rogue, I am down. Just uh, leave a comment and leave me a like and a subscription, and see you guys later.